when Steve Young came to San Francisco, uh, he had played against Reggie White in the in the old USFL. And, uh, you know, we'd be looking at film, getting ready to play the Eagles. And he goes, Mike, I got to tell you about this guy. It didn't take me long to figure out if I'm game planning against that defense, I'll take my chances with everybody else. We had to double Reggie White every single snap. Otherwise, he could single-handedly take over the game. One man changed your offensive thinking for the entire game. In eight seasons with the Philadelphia Eagles, Reggie White played in 121 games and recorded 124 sacks. You know, when I'm on the field, I want to do my best to intimidate the guy in front of me. And I want to do my best to have him intimidated before I play him. That means that this week I got to play a good enough game to where he'll look at it next week and say, oh man, you know, look what he did to him. After the 1992 season, White was a free agent. Mike Holmgren was preparing for his second year as the head coach in Green Bay when he had an epiphany about the player known as the Minister of Defense. If I don't want to have to stop him, I'll have to sign him. And let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years. You know, Reggie's very devout. He was a Baptist, ordained Baptist minister. So on a whim, I just phoned him up. And I left a message on his answering machine, Reggie, this is God. I want you to play in Green Bay. And then I hung up the phone. Fortunately, he has a great sense of humor, and he, heard, he recognized it was my voice, and, and uh, he came to my office. He goes, in his voice, he goes, hey, Mike, that was pretty funny. That was good. So uh, we wound up signing him. And it, at the time, it was a huge signing bonus. And people thought, oh, boy, they've really gone and done it. You know, it's too high. But you know what? He was worth every penny and more. His first year with me against Denver, I remember a Monday night game, we needed a sack desperately, and he sacked John Elway. Two sacks in a row right near the end of the game to allow us to win the game. He was special, and he made Sean Jones special. He made Santana Dotson special, Gilbert Brown special. All those big guys that played up front, someone was going to be singled up because you had Reggie White on your side. We had Favre on the offense, leading the offense, but Reggie was the guy that kind of put it all together for us and, and allowed us to get to the Super Bowl. Seizing the stage just as he had against John Elway on Monday night, Reggie White recorded two of his Super Bowl record three sacks on consecutive plays in the second half to help secure a Packer win. After the game, you win the game, and everyone, you're in a kind of a fog, really. But he grabbed that trophy and ran around. He knew exactly how he wanted to celebrate. It was a beautiful thing to see. You know, Reggie, he was a special player. One of the greatest players of all time.